Hi students, this chapter we are going to look at simple cells. Okay, so simple cells essentially is a device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy. So layman for simple cell is our battery. Okay, so there are chemicals found inside the battery and then these chemicals, uh, the energy that it possesses will be converted to electrical energy for us to supply uh, the voltage that's needed uh, for electrical appliances. Okay, so this is your simple cells. Okay, do not confuse the simple cells with electric, uh, electrolytic cell. Okay, so electrolytic cells convert electrical energy, which comes from the battery, to chemical energy, uh, example energy for us to actually do electroplating, etc. Okay, so the big difference between a simple cell as well as an electrolytic cell is that the setup in a simple cell, there is a voltmeter, while the setup in an electrolytic cell, we always start with a battery. Okay, so this simple cell, let me repeat myself, is a battery. All right, so the uh, one of the important things about setting up this simple cell is that the mass, the electrodes, okay, must be of different metal reactivity. Okay, they must be of different metal reactivity. So once you look at a setup like this, and then there is metal number one, metal number two, two different metals with different reactivity connected to a voltmeter, it is going to be a simple cell. Okay, so remember, uh, we are going to remember these terms, yeah, an ox and then red cap. Right, so an ox, this is anode is oxidation. So oxidation occurs at a anode, okay? And then oxidation is losing electrons, okay? Oxidation is losing electrons, right? So generally the anode is going to be my more reactive metal, right? So since more reactive metal, they tend to lose electrons to form cations. So the anode will be the more reactive metal. And then some of the observations we will see is this more reactive metal will decrease in mass. Okay, and then the cathode, red cat, reduction occurs at the cathode. Okay, so reduction is gaining electrons. So my electrons, because it's lost at the anode, flows into the cathode and it is gained. The electrons are gained and reduction takes place over at the cathode. Okay, so generally, uh, this cathode is made from the less reactive metal and then the cations from the electrolyte will gain this electron and it's being reduced and then they will form deposits around the cathode. And this is a simple cell setup. Okay, the most important big difference about my simple cell and electrolytic cell is that right the anode is actually negative while the cathode is positive okay why is the cathode positive is because again my electrons flow this way so the negative is being attracted to the positive plate so the cathode is positive yeah and then the anode is negative okay if i compare it with an electrolytic cell okay it's exactly the same anode oxidation takes place at the anode, okay, reduction takes place at the cathode. Okay, but what is happening is that my electrons are flowing this way, and when your electrons flow, it made the whole cathode negative. Okay, so the cathode is negative and the anode is positive. Okay, this is my electrolytic cell. If you cannot remember electrolytic cell, please take a look at my electrolysis videos for a recap. Okay, so recap for your simple cells. Okay, it is easy for reactive metals to lose electrons. Electrons, because they are negative, they are attracted to the positive plate. Okay, which is the less reactive metal. Right, this positive plate because they gain electrons, reduction is gain, and then red cat. So this one, the electrode is your cathode. Okay, cathode attracts the cat ions from the electrolyte. 
Okay, so there will be electrolytes over here. Okay, there will be ions that are floating over here. And these cations get attracted to the cathode, right? The positive ions gain the electrons, okay? So cathode attracts cations from the electrolyte. However, cathodes are positively charged because they attract electrons. Okay, they are the less reactive metal and then they gain the electrons and reduction occurs. So on the reverse side, negative electrodes, the oxidation occurs and then this is the more reactive metal as they tend to lose electrons. And it is the anode because an ox, okay, and then oxidation is loose. Okay, electrons flow from the more reactive to the less reactive metal through the wire and produce electricity. And that's how we have our simple cell. 